Grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Dudley Weaver with a thought for the day. Sometimes it seems to me, at least, as if the world is crumbling. Caught in the grips of a pandemic that is bringing radical changes to our lifestyles, except, of course, for those who refuse to admit the reality of the pandemic. Street demonstrations calling for much-needed change, which are then too often hijacked by French elements intent upon fomenting violence and division. The toppling of the statues of men that have been a part of the landscape for more than a century, as if by doing so we might atone for the wrongs of the past and more. Change can be difficult and challenging. Some we eagerly embrace and some we steadfastly resist. Some is good and laudatory, some is self-deceiving. I was talking with a friend the other day who said, everyone is eager to get back to normal, but there will be no normal to get back to. It will be a new normal and hopefully a better one. I agree with her, though I'm not sure that a new normal will appear as some anticipate. A normal free of injustice, prejudice, greed, and hatred, where the marginalized are brought into the circle of life and peace reigns. It is in truth the vision of the kingdom of God, the sphere of God's gracious reign for which I pray daily. But of this I am certain, it is not something that we ourselves can construct. I think of the story of the Tower of Babel in the Bible, a magnificent effort aiming for some lasting evidence of humankind's greatness that ended not in a lasting memorial to the power of human ingenuity, but ended in chaos and division. What is not taken into consideration is the capacity for human evil you see, what needs changing to affect this marvelous new normal is more than the laws of the land, more than the attitudes that people might hold. What need cha needs changing is the human heart. And that cannot be had apart from God. For our efforts alone are never adequate to the challenge. So, brothers and sisters, act. Be the people you have been called to be, who love your neighbor because God has shown his love for you in Jesus Christ. A people who are light in the midst of the darkness. A people who seek justice, who practice kindness, who show compassion, and who, like Jesus, take our place beside the victims of a cruel world. You are the first fruits of the new creation, the new normal of God's intention. Let your light shine in the midst of this darkness. May God bless you this day and every day. And as always, thank you for listening to this daily reflection.